I'm putting my headphones on so that I can hear audio. Do you know what that means? That means we're watching a video. I had one that I specifically wanted to see. Here we go. Everybody prepare yourselves. You know it's about to happen. It's 10 scary shark sightings that might just be the Megalodon from 100M. This has 2.5 million views. I know, I know. Listen, I wanted to move past the Megalodon too, but you guys need to see the thumbnail for this video. I mean, come on. Look at the fucking thumbnail. What is that? This is like a, a building that's photoshopped into the ocean. I couldn't, I couldn't not watch the video. Someone recommended this. I could not not watch it. Press one in chat if you think they're going to threaten our lives to make us subscribe. Every video we've watched so far, we've reacted to so far, has threatened our lives to make us subscribe. Let's see. Like and subscribe right now, or you're going to have terrible luck for the next week. <laughs> no, what? <laughs> it showed a video of a dude sledding. Like and subscribe. That's not bad luck. You're just stupid. He said bad luck. Like this was like, what was good luck in this situation? Like That's on you, bro. That's not bad luck. <laughs> You're just fucking dumb. And while conventional knowledge says they've gone extinct, many still believe that they are alive. Today's video <sighs> is about some of the shark sighting. Number 10, the Google Map sighting. This is like a barrier island, to be clear. Like, this is a filled-in sand barrier island. Meaning that this would have to be, like, hundreds of feet long. Like, hundreds of feet long. Or a rock. <laughs> yeah, or a rock. I'm gonna... Go <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and say rock, probably. We know it's large because these images are taken by satellites orbiting the Earth. So any animal that would have registered on the image must have... Where is it? Wasn't it like right there? Is it gone now? ...have been massive. Could it be a whale shark? It's like... So any it's animal... It's supposed to be like right here. That would have registered... He's zooming in on the wrong thing. ...on the image must have been massive. Could it be a whale... What the f... Okay. Oh, it swam, it swam, okay, it swam, my bad. It swam away. My bad. I'm all ears. How is this such a blurry Number image? nine. That was it? Just like a elongated shadow next to the Bahamas on Google Maps? Okay. Honestly, as far as proof goes, it's not that bad. I mean, at least they didn't show a blow-up doll from a Mythbusters episode, right? It could have been worse. The Coast Guard footage. Okay. The Brazilian coast, but after re-watching the footage, they couldn't believe their eyes. <laughs> if the size of the shadow is any indication, the animal was upwards of 60 feet long. Oh. <sighs> yeah, I don't know what to say about that one. It looks animated. That's all I'll say. It literally looks like someone animated and then put over like the water filter onto it. Like it does not fit in this image at all. But I'm not an expert on Photoshop or on faking videos, so I can't tell you. It could also just be a whale. Or maybe it's a real-life Megalodon. Maybe they finally got me. Now, I know what you're thinking. What does an award-winning novelist with a penchant for writing westerns have anything to do with Megalodons? Well, he believes he actually- I was thinking that. Actually, that's exactly what I was thinking. What does a novelist with a penchant for writing westerns have to do with the Megalodon? That, I, he, that was my exact thought. I'm glad he's going to explain, because I'm sure it'll make a lot of sense. In the novel Megalodon Factor Fiction, Rick Emmer says that Grey claimed to have seen one of the man-eating monsters of the South Pacific, a shark much longer than his 30 to 40 foot boat. Apparently, the shark was yellow and green with a square head, immense spectral fins, and a few white spots. Now, gray didn't. That's a gray white. <laughs> There's this weird perception that everybody has that the megalodon is just a big great white, but um, megalodons would not look like a great white, to be fair. It just would not look like that at all. So, it really doesn't make much sense. <laughs> When people think that, like, and they come up with these videos of, like, large great whites, just, like, bigger ones, and they're just like, oh, my God, this must be a megalodon because it's such a large, unbelievably large great white. Meanwhile, it's in, like, an unscalable area. It makes absolutely no sense. And the color certainly rules out whale sharks. So what other shark <laughs> out there? The colors the don't rule out whale sharks. Let us know what you think in the comments. In fact, the colors that he mentioned ruled in whale sharks. 
In fact, we weren't even thinking of whale sharks until he described it, and then we said, oh yeah, whale shark. <laughs> It didn't rule it out, it ruled it in. The whale's entire tail is missing, and it looks like it's been bitten off by something ex- No, it doesn't look like it's been bitten off. That doesn't look attacked at all. That looks cut in a propeller. Even if this was a real image, which there's a- I mean, something about this image just looks off to me. Even if this is a real image, this is not what a bite looks like. This is what a propeller mark looks like. But there's something that sets this apart from the rest. It's the from a Shark Week fake documentary. Well, there you go. Clearly see bite marks around the tail was, sure. given that this is a seven- I mean, you can't see bite marks, actually. Just to be clear, these, these are not bite marks. These are tears, like the tears that a propeller would make before it cut. But, um... We've already said that this is from a fake movie, so you might want to move on. The only animal with the size <laughs> and the strength to possibly do this is, you guessed it, the mighty Megalodon. Number six. Shittily photoshopped half of whale equals Megalodon proof. Write that one down. Not so prehistoric teeth. Oh, not again. Literally exactly the other video. This dude. story involves the British ship HMS Challenger. Oh, no, not the fucking HMS Challenger. No. No. Some dates fall in the 10,000 to 15,000 year old range. That's a far cry from 1.5 million years, the time in which experts agree when Meg- So to be clear, the way that dating works, if you guys don't know, is about how fossils are preserved. Uh, so how the, the, the sediment layers on top of them and pressurizes and preserves them. And things can be preserved in different ways. And our dating methods are not always accurate. And the way that things preserved are not always universal. The way that we, you know, date fossils is on a general basis. So some fossils might seem to date way earlier than others, and some might seem to date way later. And by getting a generalization of the fossils of a specific species, we can get an idea of, you know, the range of which the, the species actually existed. It's a generalization because when a fossil actually starts becoming preserved is entirely based on how the sediment is laying. It's entirely based on how much pressure there is. It's entirely based on where it's left. I mean, a shark could drop two teeth at the exact same time in different parts of the world, and they're going to preserve completely differently and might take completely different amounts of time. So to say that some people have been able to date it as like 10,000 or 15,000 years doesn't make any sense. In 1918, ethiologist David Stead noticed odd behavior among the lobstermen of- 1918, by the way. So I cannot wait to see what I have to look at here. They saw a monstrous, ghostly white shark of such mind-boggling proportions that apparently no one could agree exactly how big the Leviathan was. From- Whale shark. 115 feet to an absurd 300 foot minimum. This 300 foot minimum? You're not even talking about a megalodon anymore. You're just making things. <laughs> like, that's my favorite thing about this. They're trying to justify the megalodon being alive, but then they're just completely making up numbers. Like, not only is the megalodon alive, we're not only vying for that, we're vying for him being massively larger than he was ever known to be. Number four, big shark on the beach. Big shark on the beach. That doesn't look that big. If that's a human being, I mean, this is smaller than the average great white. But if you're one of the many who believe in the continued existence of the- I mean, again, this is like, I mean, like less than a normal great white. Yeah, I could, this could literally just be a basking shark. <laughs> that's a normal size shark beach shark, some say in a beach in Mexico. While this could just be a great white shark, it definitely looks larger than any one I've ever seen. Look at the article. While this could just be a The male basking shark. It literally says in the article, basking sharks can grow up to. The basking shark, which is non-threatening to humans. <laughs> literally the article that he's showing on screen, on screen literally has scientists identifying it as a basking shark. A great white shark. It definitely looks like he didn't even read it. It says it four times. The basking shark, basking shark, male even knew it was a male basking shark. Definitely looks larger than anyone I've ever seen. And it looks larger than anyone I've ever seen. Could just be a great white shark. It definitely looks larger than anyone. I mean, that is a normal sized child that could barely fit in its mouth. 
Of nope. course, skeptics will always be skeptics and will tell anybody who would listen that it's just a beach great white shark. The thing no, we're not even saying, the skeptics aren't even saying it's a beached great white shark. We, like the article that identified it, is calling it a basking shark. Is there are no great whites that could even possibly reach that size. Number it's not that big. He's acting like it's huge. <laughs> it's so small. It's a normal size shark. It's like not even adult great white. The Great Barrier Reef sighting. The a megalodon at the Great Barrier Reef. Although the men initially refused to openly report what they had seen for fear of public ridicule, they refused to record what they had seen. Whitish in color, they were completely awed by its size. It was Why is everyone so ex obsessed with it being white? As long, if not longer than their boat. Being people literally only know about the Great White. You can tell how fake these stories are because the people reporting them only know about the Great White and always, always say that it looks like the Great White and compare it to the Great White. They also said that they saw sirens. Okay. Now it's time for today's best pick. Oh, I love today's best. This is my favorite segment. It's today's usually a great best pick. Is a shark so legendary it earned the devilish nickname <laughs> and even prompted a team of TV. <laughs> it is said to resemble a great white shark, but with. Anytime they say resemble a great white shark, you can be confident that as people who don't know what they are talking about, trying to compare it to what they think the Megalodon would look like, to what they think it would be like because it's the largest shark that they can think of. Anytime they compare to the great white shark, you can pretty much always guarantee that it's just people making shit up. Also, 20 to 60 feet is not unreasonable. <laughs> Even if it was in that range. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take five seconds to complete. So here's the deal: you just leave a like challenge. on this video. I'm so done with the challenges. All right, here's my challenge: subscribe or die. Reportedly taken just off the coast of Cape Town, South Africa. Yep, this is the one that literally everybody told me is from a mockumentary. It's a fake literally a fake image that was used in the other in the other video and i didn't know that at the time and i was talking about scale and all and um well now uh now you know it's fake i mean there's the number one reason we literally can i don't know the name of the mockumentary but it's it's there this is undeniable evidence that megalodon still exists today or undeniable evidence well it's pretty deniable considering you can literally watch it get made for a documentary but um Go off, King. Do you think any of these sightings could possibly be the Meg? Let us nope. know. I don't. 